Alaska, a land of mystery and diverse landscapes. There are icebergs drifting past us, snow-capped mountains, and gushing rivers with bald eagles flying overhead. Join me as I journey to America's last frontier and come face to face with the relic of the Ice Age. First, let's back up and explain how we got here. Good morning from our first full day at sea here on the Disney Wonder. We left a balmy 70 degree Vancouver, Canada yesterday and today it's getting a little chilly. We don't see any glaciers yet, but tomorrow we're gonna get to the Skeeton Ice Cap and go to our first glacier and sail right up next to it. Our cruise route sails right along the inside passage. This is a 500 mile stretch of the Pacific Ocean running between Puget Sound in Washington State and Skagway, Alaska. This body of water is teeming with diverse wildlife. Some easy to spot animals include whales, sea lions, and bald eagles. There is no sign of ice or glaciers in the water. But tomorrow morning, we should be waking up to an ice-covered Alaskan landscape. Good morning. It's our second morning on the Disney cruise ship sailing from Vancouver to Alaska. We are just getting to our first glacier in a few hours. To give you context, yesterday morning, I was able to go outside in a t-shirt and it was okay. It was a bit chilly, but it was okay. Today, no way. It's very cold out. It feels kind of like Game of Thrones where you're about to cross the wall and it gets very cold very quick. Now sailing through the Tracy Arm Fjord, getting very close to the glacier that we're visiting. These views are just incredible. The camera definitely doesn't do it justice. You have to be here to see it, to experience it. I get one too if you're offering. Okay. Thank you. It's cold. Look cold. Our ship is sailing right past little pieces of ice to avoid them. It's pretty cool how the big ship is maneuvering and not hitting anything. It's impressive. This is our boat. That's a chunk of ice that we are sailing by. Like, that's the distance. The closer we get, the colder and colder it's getting. There's a boat right there speeding towards the glacier right past that mountain. This is definitely one of the coolest places I've ever been to. And we're off. We're pushing away from the Disney Wonder, heading towards the Sawyer Glacier. Come on. I mean, I guess we're just gonna hang out here for a while. Look at this. Whoa. Look at that, the biggest ice cube we've ever seen. Whoa. There it is, that's been around since the ice ages apparently. Pretty cool stuff. This stuff is like the newer stuff kind of because it's from the top. Wait, so this is 200 years old. And so it's like the newer ice. Oh, it's a baby. Yeah. Most of the like old, old stuff is kind of off the very bottom. How old is the old, old stuff? I That's Catherine's question, I would ask. Oh, okay. Her. It's got lots of texture. Lots of texture, very cold. We took one last look at some of the bluest ice I've ever seen before waving goodbye to the Sawyer Glacier. Look at the fog and the mist right at the top of these mountains. Visually stunning. Views like this always look much more majestic in person than they possibly look like on camera. So if you can visit, definitely worth it. Finally, back on the Disney Wonder after a long day <laughs> chasing icebergs and glaciers. That was a whole lot of fun. Now it's time for dinner at Animator's Palette. Hey! Tonight is frozen themed night on the ship, so the restaurant is turned blue for the evening and there's a frozen themed uh, menu for dinner. Thank you! The salmon is delicious. 
So this dessert is a panakaken. I think I'm saying that wrong, but it's a panakaken. I was told it's a Norwegian pancake rolled in a lindenberry sauce with cream cheese. Oh. I don't like it. It tastes like you're eating whipped cream cheese. I'm not tasting any berry flavor. But it was fun to try. Well, that was an excellent dinner tonight at Animator's Palette. Tomorrow morning we're docking in Skagway, Alaska. My sister and I are going on a rafting adventure. We're going to look for eagles. I heard there's a brothel museum in town. There's some interesting things to see in Skagway tomorrow, so you'll definitely want to stick around. Coming up, we put on our water boots and go rafting in Alaska while trying to spot a bald eagle in a rainstorm. But first, let's take a look at what downtown Skagway has to offer. And this is our first view of Skyway behind me. It looks to be a very small town. There's really not that many people here. We had a very early start this morning. We saw a coffee house called Glacial Coffee House right on the way. Hi, can I have a honey bear latte? A small size? Anything else? That's it. Mmm. I'm getting some um, notes of bear, a little bit of honey. Very strong bear flavor. We walked by multiple interesting sites in Skagway, including the Red Onion Saloon. This is a former brothel that now offers walking tours of the city. A little bit of backstory, my sister loves popcorn. There's a store here that sells vats and vats of popcorn that you just smell as you're walking by. Ooh. Jalapeno popcorn. That sounds dangerous. Pizza parlor popcorn. That sounds pretty good. It's cheddar. Looks very tasty. It smells great. This is regular popcorn. Regular, plain popcorn. It's good. It's like coated in caramel. Not too sweet, I like it. After an enjoyable morning exploring Skagway, we boarded a ferry and began our 14 mile journey to the town of Haines. Looking forward to our upcoming rafting adventure. Soon enough, we pushed away from shore and made our way down the flowing rivers. The temperature was in the 60s when we visited in July, but the water was about 36 degrees just above freezing. What started out as a calm river ride in search of eagles quickly became more exciting as the rain and wind picked up speed. No, we're not stuck right now, but it is raining. There's an eagle chilling on one of the branches. There's one flying. Eagle spotted. There's an eagle flying up there. We saw over 10 eagles hanging out in the trees, on the posts, a few flying, celebrating a successful rafting adventure with hot chocolate and cookies. We said goodbye to the beautiful Haines, Alaska and got ready for a night of jazz on the cruise ship. Tonight we're having dinner at Tiana's Place, a New Orleans themed restaurant based on the film Princess and the Frog. They have something called the Bayou Rum Adventure. We have a spice rum, an orange rum, and an aged rum. This is the orange rum. Smells a lot better, definitely sweeter, fruitier rum here. I like it. 9 out of 10. Not a 10 out of 10. It's like drinking dessert, and you don't get a very strong hit of alcohol. Now a cool little perk of sailing with Disney Cruise the new Indiana Jones movie is coming out tomorrow, on land, obviously. But for us, we get to see it one day early at the movie theater on the ship. Pretty cool, pretty fun. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, enjoy! <laughs> I just got to my statement for the night. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Everyone in line, let me hear it go. Oh!